So we've had a good look around here in Geneva, and one of the brands that's taken both Spencer and my eye is a company called HYT. Um, Spencer, initial thoughts? I just think they're amazing, really different, just unique, different pieces, not our traditional looking watches. It takes a lot for me to say, oh, you know, you fall in love with something. Thank you very much. Perfect. How much you know about age weight? Start us from the beginning. Tell us, tell us what we need to know. When well, did the brand start? Yeah, so the, the company has been established in 2011. Um, so it's a, it's a quite a young company, I might say. Um, yeah, so it's quite a young company. Um, it's an independent uh, Swiss watch brand based in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. So it's close to Geneva, it's close to the, the cradle of uh, watchmaking. Um, but we are unique in the sense because we are the only brand in the watch industry which uh, uses time, uh, liquid to display time. Okay. Um, I take this one quickly. And then you can do the, the cuts for your customers and for your watchers. But here, basically, we have a capillary, you can see, with the liquid inside. And we have two bellows, which we call the fluidic module. You have one active bellow and you have one passive bellow. The active bellow is the one which has been, and I'm trying to turn it, compressed by the mechanical movement. Okay. So here you can the liquid. Exactly. Well, no, it pushes the bellow to compress the bellow together, and then, thanks to the compression and pressure inside the bellow, it injects the liquid inside the capillary. Exactly. So this one shows the liquid always shows you the hours and the minute hands obviously shows you the minutes. Here it's just maybe also better to, to have a look because here you can see the liquid better. You can see it's a blue uh, liquid. Blue, blue, so we have four liquids. We have yellow, I mean green, blue, red and black. And then you can see it goes from four and five. And then slowly we're getting into six where really the magic happens. Because obviously you ask yourself, okay, so we get to six o'clock, but what happens after the liquid? Because it goes under and continues? No. Okay, okay. You will hear a small click and it's a retrograde function that basically the movement releases the pressure from right. the bellow and the bellow. And the other side is going back. Exactly. The bellow yeah. goes back automatically to zero, yeah. you know, goes to the, to the zero position. And thanks to that, creates vacuum inside the capillary and sucks back the colored liquid into the balloon. And then start and then start the six. Is level. this the only brand that does this? Absolutely, absolutely. Because I can tell you, it's super difficult to master the technology. So it's nobody crazy enough to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's now I can say that after ten years or eleven years, we are confident enough to say, okay, the technology is stabilized. So now you can. No problem, no shocking, no water uh, resistance, no pressure, no temperature issue, because everything has been uh, resolved. Right? And then we have different uh, lines. So here, this one is the asteroid collection. We can see is the, let's say, the, the entry uh, product. We have different executions. So what is the price? 75,000 Swiss, excluding VAT. <laughs> this, this is the watch that takes my eye. So this one, of course, is the next layer of the of the of the party. This is we call the Grey Ghost. It's a single axis triple calendar. So at six o'clock you can read the months, the day, and the moon phase. Excuse me. If you were to buy this watch, you'd have to send him to university to understand how to use it. It's <laughs> not. You know, you know. I love your knowledge. Your knowledge. No, it's like. So, and it, and yeah, it's I'm saying. It's, it's somehow true, you know, yes. that it's, you need to have a watch on your wrist which you have a connection and you, know, you, you can relate, you have like, yeah. really you can understand the story or you like something in it. But to be honest is there is, yeah, I mean, usually, usually we check the phone. Yeah, exactly. Take us through this one then because this, this for me has blown me away. I love this. So, on top of the fluidic time display, you have this uh, triple calendar function in the middle. And then you have this dome sapphire glass you can see of this uh, central moon, which is a 13 millimeter titanium moon, fully polished. 
And on top of that, it's not just polished, but you have a super luminova also in the moon. So if you make it completely dark, you can see that it's purple. That's your moon face. Absolutely. Which you can read in this small ring, which comes from a 12 o'clock big uh, floating titanium bridge. This is special. And I bring you another one, which is more visible, okay. because this is sexy but not visible. Um, can we just ask how do the straps um, to change? Yeah, very easy. How much is that? 125. This one called the Grey Ghost, and this one called the Desert. So here, what I like, because here on the Super Luminova, you can see way, way, way better the moon, the structure. Of the moon. Guys, we are at Beyonce, uh, a brand that's uh, taken Spencer and I's eye over the last couple of days. I think Spencer's got some questions. Um, got one or two pieces in front of us. We've always, we've also got a representative from Beyonce that he's going to tell us one or two things. Um, sorry, what's your name again? Emmanuel, I'm the co-founder. Nice of to meet you, Emmanuel. You're a co-founder. Yes, wow, co we're honoured. Okay. Yeah. So what do we have here in front of us today? So this is a brand new model, it's called the Flying Tourbillon Grand 8. Uh, Bianche specializes in the creation, in creation of tourbillon watches. And uh, what we like to, to do is to do an ultra modern uh, watch and uh, inside we use uh, age old uh, design principles to, to build the movement to con to, for the construction of the movement. Um, so this is uh, this is what we what we do. This is the second uh, model of, uh, of our brand. Mm, the first one uh, we have very limited uh, production. This is only 200 pieces uh, mm -hmm. this year, and uh, every uh, reference is limited to 55 pieces. Uh, and where are you based? In uh, Neuchâtel, uh, Switzerland. Uh, that's where we have the showroom, and then we have the workshop, uh, the atelier in La Chaux de Fonds. So how many models do you have in your range at the moment? So at the moment, this is the new model. There is one only in eight different uh, variations. Of uh -huh. uh, the last one we had, uh, which, which we presented here in uh, Geneva Watch Days, uh, uh, was uh, sold out. And, uh, this is the that was 120. That was 120. Again, I think that was a fabulous yeah. watch. <laughs> and you know, this is a uh, we're a rare brand, uh, a new a new brand. And Family, completely independent family business. So we'll
<laughs> what have you done? Nothing. You hurt your elbow, didn't you? Oh, catch some of this. Look at that. So we're on the big wheel in Geneva. Kev, is your bottle gone? The last time we went on a big wheel was the uh, the BAI, wasn't it, in Brighton? It was, yeah. And you didn't know that 360 degrees was the circle, the view. No, but that's for clever people. Kev. This is now 360 degrees round in a circle. It's I'm a not good, very clever, you know that. It's a good view, though. We can see all the space. We just been oh, amazing. We've just that been long over there. Me Mont Blanc, oh, what? No. Mountain Blanc, or? Yeah, no. no. the pen. Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. Spence, no, right, just the quickie, boys, let, right? Let me film you guys. Cause... Okay, you take the camera then. Right. There we go. You cuddle up. This you, is cosy, can, isn't you it? Can ask, <laughs> you can ask. He's only got little legs. So we've just come out of Bucara. We did a piece of the camera by the pavement because yeah. you were too impatient. You yeah. wanted to get it on. Yeah. And it was too too noisy by the road. So we've suggested coming in here and you two hugging each other and telling them what you found out. So what I found out, Ken, was that uh, I Well, got we've got a split decision on that Rolex. That I say it's a clock. Well, I, I, managed, to, I managed to try on the new uh, Deep Sea Challenge, and I think I can pull it off. I'm going to put some B-roll in now and uh, let you guys see what it looks like on my wrist. I think I can wear that watch, but his little chip thinks I can't. It's a it's clock. It's a table clock, in my opinion. It is enormous. But I still think that if you can get one, oh, absolutely, it is the best, one of the best Rolex watches out there to buy. Bukaru just told us they sold two or three a year, or they're going to get two or three a year, and they're only going to their very best customers. So they refused to sell it to me because I'm just a mere peasant and. Uh, they wasn't having any of it. Oh, the Yacht Master 42 in titanium, no chance. No chance whatsoever. I didn't even have one to show us. But they would sell me a gold sub. And I said to the lady, thank you, but no thank you. If you won't sell me a titanium watch, I'm not going to buy a gold one from you. And uh, I think she understood it. And uh, I said, but I think your Rolex are losing a lot of fans because of you know what's going on. And I, again, I, she didn't agree, but she didn't disagree. I think she... Deep down, I think she agreed. I don't know what she you towed think. the party line, didn't she? Yeah, no, she, she agreed. She agreed. She towed the party she line, agreed, but I think but she, she was a company lady. Yeah, she was very professional. Yeah. Um, well, Spence, CPO. CPO, CPO not even worth talking about. It's unbelievable. Talking about. Unbelievable. But you can pay twice the price, or and buy from a professional. And buy from a professional. That was what we were told. There, there. The price is the price that it is because. You're buying from a professional. And by the way, this professional didn't even know what wood dial was on a day date. Was it a day date, Kev, you looked at? Yeah. 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 But the other thing, most pieces in there didn't have box and papers. You got the CPA case and CPO case and their papers, not original papers. I wonder if Richard Mill lives in that apartment, Kev. Have a look. Looking over here. Yeah, nice, isn't it? So what have you made of our little trip there, Spence? It's been a bit hectic, hasn't it, to be honest? Yeah, well, absolutely. We've had no mobile phone signal to do any lives, yeah, which has been not ridiculous. We can't do any lives, but I've enjoyed it. I mean, to be honest, because... Over near the hotel, you may... This get, is where we were yesterday. Maybe have to be in the hotel. We could do with stand another day, really. But we'll see. Now it appears we're stuck up the top. Can I, can I start rocking this, Spence? Mm. That bother you? Is that OK? How do you rock it? No there? standing. Yeah, no. just... It's amazing all the brands. Did you catch all that there? We've got Patek, Rolex, Richard Moore. Over that side there, can you see all the brands over there? All the miles. You can certainly buy a watch here, can't you? That's for sure. Well, well, no, you can't. I don't have to count. Well, you can't buy a <laughs> On paper, you can. <laughs> paper, well, yeah. while, while you were filming with Michael this morning, Spencer and I have had a tour of the the, the boutiques and FP Jean, very nice lady in there. Not a thing. Couldn't serve us anything for two to three years. They have a lovely wish list though, yeah. which is a new term. Oh, I think this it. is all a load of BS, mate. Oh, I think all this can't buy anything for three years. It's all going to come to an end. It has to, doesn't it? Of course I mean, it is. It's, it's, but, um, it's all in about. FP Jean, those watches are going for like double. They weren't that like seventeen thousand Swiss francs. Oh, off just we go again. Buy it. I, th I don't believe. Right, I don't want to upset the boss man here, but I don't believe the market's out there. I don't believe there's enough people for this lot here to keep telling us they ain't for sale 
or you've got to wait three years. So I think give it another couple of years, they'll be chomping at the bit to sell you something. Yeah. Well, We'd be on the buy one, get one free. Well, I just don't believe it, Spencer. I don't believe there's enough people, especially with these lesser known brands. I mean, look, FP Jorn, amazing, right? Amazing. But one lot but pieces. You're not going to tell me that you should stop the average person on the street and ask them if they know who FP Jorn is, they'll tell you he's a footballer. You know, they're not going to have a clue, are they? They're going to think he's a golfer, you know. So I don't believe there's that many people out there that are buying these watches to create a two, three year wait. I think it's all nonsense. Is that it? Are we done? No, I think they're letting another car on, aren't they? No, no, no this is it. This is our, yeah, uh, this is our type of sort here. Yeah, we're being chucked off. Okay. Right, let's right. move on, boys. Let's